is a build tool. So here's an uh, example of the page uh, site I built last week called Sedan Trader. Uh, long story. So here's the handle file that defines what index.html is. And then here's the build site over here with index.html. One option that you would have is go through every page, run handle for it, and copy the right directory. The other option is to use Rate, which is a Ruby based build tool that, as it turns out, handles has some copy script all use internally by the developers. So here's a Rate file to do handle on every page in the pages directory and put them all in the output pages directory. Does this mean that copy script has a tendency to be like as well? I so. think it does. So th this is a lot of code, right? So I actually have a secret rate technique I'm going to share with you guys. It's called just copy the last one you wrote and then modify it as little as possible. <laughs> <laughs> the other option is to use a tool that brings its own rate file for you so you don't have to learn a new rate file every time. What was your question? No, so basically you Right. Yeah, just to run the Camel compiler or the SAS compiler. So you get Not run to a Rails pull instruction, just for a static site. Right. So with the keeping in mind that we like to use the same rate file for everything, uh, I made a tool over the weekend called Charleston. It's the static site generator I want to use. So the last week I built a static site over the course of a couple hours for Riz, and I ended up with a rate file that I'm satisfied with. So it just came out, or I just released it, I think the 11th was the one day, right? Uh, it's pretty much just a bundle of rate rules to compile HTML, HTML, SAS, CSS, CoffeeScript, and JavaScript to put them in the right place to build a site. Since it's written in Ruby and it's a gem, if you just install Charleston, it'll bring Camel and SAS along with you. I don't depend on CoffeeScript yet for it, so I haven't figured out a good way to automatically install it. So on Mac OS X, gem install Charleston. In Windows, install Ruby, gem install Charleston. How you do it is a lot like Rails. You do Charleston, your project, and it goes and sets up a directory for that project that fills in or gives you a bunch of example files so you know where everything goes and puts the rate file in place for it. Then you can change that project, run rate right away, and then open the output file in your browser and you get this nice little let's get started page with instructions, a uh, list of things not to do, and a link to the source code if you want to help me and make it better. So to create a new Charleston page, just create a new file in the pages directory, either HTML or HAML, and then link to it as an HTML file inside your existing pages. For a new style sheet, you put it in the style sheets directory and link to it as a .css, even if it's SAS. For a new script, it's exactly the same. Put it in the JavaScript directory and call it by its .jsd. For images, there's an image directory and you refer to it as is. There's, I don't have any good code ways to generate images yet. Uh, the other stuff that's nice about Charleston is each project's a separate directory, just like a Dreamweaver project or Coda project. Uh, it's easy to version control it. So if you go in and you make a change, commit that change so you can go back and do it later easily. And it puts everything in a nice output directory, so you can just copy that whole directory into your server without thinking too hard about which files change and which ones did. And that's it for Charleston. Any questions about it? You submitted to log reviews yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Cool. I will. <laughs> so are these only for static? Sites? Correct. So it's integrated with Rails or anything? No. no uh, the reason that I'm just doing static sites is, you know, I, I don't want to worry about a lot of integration stuff, but I'm just wanting to put up like a single HTML page. 
with a little bit of style to make it look nice. If I if I want integration, I already have a lot of tools. It's just I thought the the existing static site tools were really uh, complicated for a lot of stuff I wanted to do. Have you looked at uh, Jekyll or Webby or any of those existing ones? No. Okay. So there, there's a few other static site generators that have like block support, and each file has a little header on it that tells it what to do. And I guess to increase the automation, let me build a whole blog and stuff. But I don't usually want to do that. You know, I just want one or two pages. The general type is designed for creating a blog of static. Right. Or All right, so the stuff we talked about are Hamel, SAS, Compass, CoffeeScript, Rick, and Charles. Can we find more closing questions? It depends on SAS, yes. Right, the, the way you install Compass is, I think, Gen install Compass. So it'll bring SAS and Hamel along the way. So is Compass the way that you get mixins in SAS, or does SAS have to Compass mix is basically a collection of mixins. So, it's so, like so SAS utilities for SAS. Right. So, com or SAS comes with SAS supports mixins, but Compass is a big bundle of mixins that everybody uses. So it's like a SAS library. Yes. So even if you want to just use SAS, it's always better to use like Compass because you have more options. Right. The, the difference is, I think, if you're using, if you say, if you tell whatever program you're using that you want Compass, it'll run, it'll have to compile through all the Compass files just in case you want to mix it. Right. But the user, you know, if you compile it once and just sort it on the site, the user won't see any difference. Is there a watch function that will watch your developer? I haven't written that, but I also don't have Compass integrated with Charleston yet. Those are the two to do things before I even publicize it a lot. It would be cool to have something like Jam or Massive Packaging built in as well. Yeah. Well, there's my list then. The, the compiling that's done by I guess in this case, CompassCript SAS and Hamlet. What are the compilers in this The Hamlet SAS compilers are written in Ruby, and the CompassCript compiler is written in CompassCript and compiled in JavaScript. Okay. The uh, photos I used are all from Flickr and they're of uh, me and this Kyle, which is a couple miles up the road. Uh, these URLs are going online with the rest of the slides later uh, tomorrow morning. Any final stuff? Oh, we were going to ask the computer about a couple of things.